Although it may appear that Stephen A. Smith is blasting the Democrats, um, I'm going to make it fairly clear. Stephen A. Smith is still on the plantation. Let's discuss. It's Tuesday, March 19th, 2024. I'm Stuart Allister. does that have to do with y'all not telling the truth? See, in the, at the end of the day, let's just call it what it is. Trump is handing it to y'all. All you Democrats out there are walking around, acting like it's somebody else's fault that in the year 2024, you're begging a soon-to-be 82-year-old incumbent to run for re-election and win for you because you haven't had a damn soul that can take them. Four indictments, 91 counts, two impeachments, civil suits against them, elevating above $400 million. And he is whipping y'all ass. That is a fact. He secured the GOP nomination. You got him ahead in all the polls as we speak. You've got him elevated, according to the polls, in a world of Hispanics, and blacks more so than ever before, not to say that those numbers are gonna be exorbitant, but it'll be just enough to get him reelected. And because I'm sitting here and pointing out to you that you're getting in your own way by trying to fabricate or embellish stories in such a fashion where you could easily get caught, exposed for, for your miscalculations or your flat out lies and something that he is going to use to his advantage to get reelected, I'm wrong. Um, now, you know what he's talking about? I don't know if you guys saw this, but um, Donald Trump said with regard to the car manufacturing industry, um, if he is not elected, it is going to be a bloodbath. And Democrats just went berserk. I like. I, I, they're, they're, they're telling people that no, 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 they're, they're Donald Trump, there's going to be blood in the streets. It's like, what are you talking about? And so what, what Stephen A. Smith is saying, you guys are using this nonsense that is in 2024 easily rebutted this bloodbath hoax. First, there was a Russia hoax. Remember the very fine people hoax? There was hoax after hoax that was just obliterated. And this is another one. I'm going to show you. And what he's doing is, I'm telling you, Stephen A. Smith is still on the plantation. He's just mad that they're not beating him. Sure, they're call he's calling them out. But it's not for the reasons you think. He's calling them out because he's frustrated that they won't actually do what needs to be done. What is that? Closing the border. If you want to know why black people are going to be, I man, he's going to get like 15, maybe 18% of the black vote. You're done. Steven knows that. He's mad about that. But in order for Democrats to give up their immigration plan, they would have to close the border. Well, that ain't gonna happen. Because for better or for worse, Democrats play the long game. They, they, and by the way, if you think for a second, see, I see some of you out there and you're just thinking, Donald Trump's beat him in the polls, just like Stephen said. He's beating him on, on every level, just like Stephen said. You know, we're, no, 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 we're gonna. Uh, are you that? Do, do you not, re, hang on, because I, 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 I have to remind you, that's why I'm here. From Time Magazine, the secret history of the shadow campaign that saved the 2020 election. A shadow campaign? 
The article, by the way, I covered this and the video goes, got removed. YouTube wouldn't allow it. And all I did, I was just talking about this article from Time Magazine. They wouldn't allow it. Why? Because they were telling the truth. They just came outright and said, you don't need a conspiracy if you have all of these different entities with one goal. You had big tech. You had every Democrat. You had some actual, you know, so-called Republicans. You had so many people that didn't want Donald Trump to be reelected. They were banning people, shadow banning people, which they still do that, by the way, on Twitter. They're still shadow banning people, even under Elon Musk. So if you think that this isn't happening right now, if you think that, well, Donald Trump is ahead in the polls, Donald Trump got more votes than any other president in modern history and lost. Do you remember in 2022, that was supposed to be a red wave. We got a slim majority. How do they keep doing that? Because they change the rules. When you change the rules, everything else is tossed out of the window. I mean, you got to be able to see that. So what Stephen A. Smith is talking about <laughs> is this. NBC historian takes media's bloodbath insanity to a whole new level. And it's, it's amazing to me. <laughs> Hold on a second, if you, in case you haven't seen it. NBC News presidential historian Michael Blushloss, uh, let me, okay, he may be a historian, a presidential historian, okay, he is not a good faith actor, okay, he will skew every point of history to make Democrats look good. NBC News presidential historian Michael Beschloss took the media furor over former President Donald Trump's bloodbath comments to a new heights during a Monday appearance on MSNBC's Morning Joe. I like the MSNBC is an enemy to the truth. During an Ohio campaign rally over the weekend, Trump predicted a bloodbath if he does not win re-election in 2024 and media outlets fall, fell over themselves trying to make it look as though he was predicting politically motivated violence and a literal bloodbath. They left out important context, however, namely that he had made the comment while talking about the potential impact of a car company owned by communist China building ve uh, vehicles in Mexico in order to evade U.S. tariffs. That's what he was talking about. He wasn't talking about a civil war. He wasn't talking about bloodbath in, 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 you know, in, in like real terms. He was using the term bloodbath like they always use the term bloodbath. So with no further ado, let's hear it from him himself. Oh, I'm sorry. The legacy media helps Trump with stupid game. They're all playing it. They're all playing it. And here you go. You know, Mexico has taken over a period of 30 years 34% of the automobile manufacturing business in our country, think of it, went to Mexico. China now is building a couple of massive plants where they're going to build the cars in Mexico and think, they think, that they're going to sell those cars into the United States with no tax at the border. Let me tell you something to China. If you're listening, President Xi, and you and I are friends, but he understands the way I deal, those big monster car manufacturing plants that you're building in Mexico right now, and you think you're going to get that, you're going to not hire Americans, and you're going to sell the cars to us now, 
We're going to put a 100 percent tariff on every single car that comes across the line. And you're not going to be able to sell those cars. If I get elected, now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be. It'll be a bloodbath for the country. What was he talking about? He's talking about the car, the car industry. Because he knows that Democrats are going to do it. They're going to keep our border open. And they're going to send, but they're already doing, they're already doing that. They're already getting rid of American workers in favor of illegal criminals. And it's happening right now. But, but that doesn't matter to them. Look, the only thing that matters to them, the legacy media helps Trump with this stupid campaign. That's what Stephen A. Smith is talking about you guys are using this these ridiculous hoaxes. Now you gotta ask yourself, why would they continually do this? Well, why do you think they would continually do this? They do it because it works. Do you know that there are people who only watch? MSNBC, that's their news source. Do you know that there are people that can't form an opinion until Rachel Maddow has weighed in on it? There are people right now in your country, maybe some that live next door to you, they cannot see the truth. They, they, they just, they, I, and I don't know what's going on, but my guess is, once you've been propagandized, it's very, very difficult to shake loose from it. I'll tell you, before I became a Trump supporter, I never voted for Barack Hussein Obama because there was just something in me that ain't voting for somebody named Barack Hussein Obama. I'm sorry, that's just never gonna happen. But I thought, and this was my thought, and I'm not kidding. I said this about Obama. Well, at least he didn't have any scandals. I said that like back in 2014, 2015. I was like, eh, you know, he's not a, the greatest president, but hey, at least he didn't have any scandals. He had tons of scandals. He was scandal written. <laughs> from 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 you know fast and furious to the flint water debacle but because i was locked in the same media echo chamber that msnbc people are in i thought hey at least he didn't have any scandals he had tons of scandals but the media would not cover it that's why. Now, do you know why I got out of it? I talked to my little brother. He's a pretty, you know, straight shooter. I just said, hey, you know, uh, hey, Donald Trump, um, do you know that, that David Duke endorsed him? <laughs> Jeff is like, yeah, so? I was like, no, no, dude, come on, dude, a white supremacist, is, is he, he's, he's supporting you? I was like, how is that a reflection on Donald Trump? He he said he wants to build a wall to stop these illegals from coming over. Okay. So if, if you are a white supremacist, they want that wall. I, I don't understand how that reflects on Donald Trump. Where, and, and, and he's like, where are you getting this information? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> You see, at, unless you can take a step back, okay, and start looking at the evidence, and I just started looking at the evidence, it was clear Donald Trump wasn't a racist. It was, it was, it was clear Obama was a horrible president. See, I, I was an honest broker with regard to the truth. I want all I wanted was the truth. That's all I wanted. You don't have honest brokers here. Now, when I go 
to Stephen A. Smith and I show you that he is railing against the Democrats, it's not because he wants Donald Trump to win. It's because he wants Democrats to win because he is stuck on that plantation. You, you could see it. He goes on to say that he would like to debate Donald Trump. Donald Trump would kill him in a debate. <laughs> it, wouldn't, it wouldn't even be close. Right? But my, my, so my point to all of this is that if you think that Democrats are sitting idly by, not doing anything, you're mistaken. They are. They're probably, right now, changing rules. That's what they did in 2020. So if you think for a second that Donald Trump being ahead in this poll and ahead in that poll, and he's got this many black voters and this many Hispanic voters, if that's what you think is happening, I, I allow me to disabuse you of that. That, that. Democrats lie, cheat, and steal. I'm gonna do an, an, uh, uh, my upcoming video about boycotting Tyson Foods and highlighting the Democrats' plan for a one-party state in this country. And it's no bueno. No bueno. All right, that's it for now. Hey, if you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe. And if you're following me on Rumble, please press that follow button. And until the next time, God bless.